Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius, what is your energy? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What is your vibe, Sagittarius? What do you need to know? There you go. What a way to start your reading, Sagittarius. Will of Fortune. We're using the Dame Darcy deck. Look at that. Ace of Swords with the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Ooh, but you know when the Will of Fortune energy there, be mindful of the Capricorn vibes. With the opportunity comes the opportunist. Eight of Cups there with the Nine of Cups. Ooh, look at you go. Calling in some good energy, Sagittarius. So don't muck it up. What's this about? Okay, that's an interesting sort of split. So, what do you got going on here, Sagittarius? Bottom of the deck is the Emperor energy. Okay. Aries influence when it comes to you. Those of you, this Emperor vibe. That always shows up when it comes to you, Sagittarius. So, there's something that you need to focus on. This could be something that sort of controls you a lot. This could be a relationship or partnership that wants to come in and sort of control you. I feel like you need to embody the emperor energy. So, it's almost like a matched vibe here. Let's see what you got going on here. Page of Pentacles there with the Nine of Wands. Oh my goodness. Uh, be mindful of who you share your dreams and goals with, Sagittarius. I know that keeps coming up with you, but some of you, you got like some energies that you really should just be mindful of. This is like nail technician. This could be your beautician. This could be any sort of friends, families, acquaintance. Those of you when it comes to work. Some of you, especially when it comes to work. You're like attracting attention, Sagittarius. But I don't even think you realize it. There's definitely a jealous energy around you. Because if someone's looking at you for a promotion or someone's interested in you, someone else probably doesn't like the fact. So there's a lot of chitter chatter when it comes to you. A good opportunity as well. There's the Nine of Pentacles. There's the Queen of Pentacles. There's There you are, Sagittarius Temperance Angel. And there's the Seven of Wands. So you definitely got an opportunist around you. And the Queen of Pentacles there with the Page of Pentacles. Uh, be mindful. Some of y'all be mindful of who's in your energy. Be mindful of who comes around into your energy as well. So, damn. Well, the Seven of Wands there and the Queen of Pentacles. That's the Gemini energy. The lover's vibe. Nine of Pentacles, the Temperance. There's the Seven of Cups. Look at that. There's like no love loss in this relationship or partnership. And there's the Sun energy. Lord have mercy. Sagittarius, those of you with uh, exes. This is baby mama, baby daddy energy. Be mindful of the conversations that you have. And be mindful of the conversations and who's in the room as well. You're creating some interesting sort of chatter. Uh, you could have a lot of people wondering why you're getting this opportunity and they're not. The basis of this is the Seven of Pentacles. There's the Tower energy. There's the Nine of Swords. There's the Page of Swords. So someone wanted to create a Tower moment in your life, and now, Sagittarius, they kind of work to your benefit. What's over the Page of Swords? The Chariot energy. So you know how they say there's no such thing as like bad publicity, Sagittarius? For some of you... This kind of, if someone's creating an interest when it comes to you, for a lot of you, that actually creates a more of an opportunity. So if you weren't even on somebody's radar and then people hear all, the, all this chatter about you and then they start paying attention, an opportunity comes your way that really was brought about by someone who didn't want it or didn't want you to have this opportunity. So this could be as simple as 
uh, you're just doing your job, you're doing your thing, right? If someone don't like you and they start bitching about you to maybe your supervisor and then your supervisor who never really paid any attention to you because they didn't have to, starts paying attention to you and thinking, hmm, you know, they're kind of being wasted in that position. I think they would be better off here. So for a lot of you Sagittarius's, your haters are actually bringing about good opportunities with you. Those that are attracting the attention to you that you're not even looking for. So damn, you've been in this energy. It's about time this kind of works to your benefit, Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, for so many of you, Take the opportunities, take all this good sort of vibe you have going on, and just keep that shit to yourself right now. Sagittarius, some of you could be getting a, a, a romantic offer or a romantic opportunity that comes around just because someone was talking shit about you and you, someone brought you to people's attention, and that's what made the difference. But now it's like it, it didn't quite work. The Emperor, the Magician, the Judgment, Leo energy, you got the Fool energy, there's the Five of Wands, there's the Knight of Swords, there's the Knight of Pentacles, and there's the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Lord have mercy. So, if someone was trying to say that you... This is interesting. I feel like this is more like a work vibe. Uh, a Sagittarius with that emperor energy right there. Uh, those of you, this is like a good work opportunity. Someone brought you to somebody's attention and then they kind of missed out on their own opportunity. So sweet Jesus. This is when that sort of chatter energy actually worked to your benefit, Sagittarius. So if someone was bitching about what you were doing... Someone started watching, especially like a boss. Someone goes to the supervisor. Sagittarius is over here doing that. And then they start paying attention. And then it's like, oh, well, you know what? You're right. Uh, they're going to get an upgrade because we're kind of uh, missing out on using them for a better opportunity right here. So someone kind of blocked their own blessings. This is like good energy, uh, Sagittarius. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it, I'ma change your life, 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 life. Okay. King of Swords, Six of Cups, the Capricorn Energy, the Page of Wands, to the Nine of Cups, to the Ace of Swords, to the Five of Pentacles. There's a change up in energy, Sagittarius. Uh, Queen of Cups, the Hangman, the King of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Hierophant, and there's the Empress energy. If you got your resumes out there, those of you, if you're looking for a promotion, this is like tangible vibes when it comes to you, Sagittarius. So this is like you're bringing on this attention. So you're wanting to upgrade. You're wanting that promotion. You're wanting a new opportunity. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you in the sense that if you go for an interview... And, you know, usually once you interview somebody, you take notes and then you talk it out with who you need to talk it out. It kind of works like that. Some of you could be getting an opportunity that you weren't even aware of or you didn't even know existed because somebody brought something to their attention, which brings about a very interesting vibe. It's very lucrative when it comes to you. It brings about a very good opportunity. But damn Sagittarius. 
Over top of all that is the Aquarius energy. This is like good communications. Make sure that you're being positive. Uh, Sagittarius, make sure you're focusing on what is important. This is uh, paying attention to everything. Over top of the star is the Six of Pentacles. Watch your favorite astrologer. Your astrology could factor into this, especially your Aquarius energy. You got Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Where is Mercury at in your chart and where is your Jupiter placement? What's over the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles? What is with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles here? You got a lot of good ideas, a lot of opportunities. If you're a creative Sagittarius, or you're really good at uh, streamlining things and making things work, yeah, with the Ten of Cups there. You're getting some very fun blessings. But look at you go. What's, what's at the bottom of the deck? There's the Hermit energy. The Three of Wands. The Libra with the Eight of Pentacles, to the Eight of Wands, to the Five of Swords, to the Two of Pentacles. If someone was watching you, someone was watching them watching you. And it's a very interesting sort of vibe. Those of you that paid attention to the last retrograde, that worked on your behalf. There is a switch up here. There's the Ace of Wands, the world with the Five of Cups. Whatever you pulled focus on, Sagittarius, or what you weren't focusing on, brought about a good opportunity when it comes to you. Someone's in that Five of Cups vibe, though. Damn, Sagittarius. I feel like astrology play, played a part in this for you as well. So have you started paying attention to your astrology, uh, Sagittarius? Those of you, uh, especially during the last retrograde, some of you, your moon nodes could be switching up here. I don't feel like this is a romantic opportunity, uh, Sagittarius. I feel like this is a tangible opportunity for you that puts you in a very good vibe. But it's an opportunity that wasn't there before. It's something that you're not even focused on. Some of you, you're not even aware the opportunity was even an option. You're a good problem solver energy. That's what makes the difference with you. The Capricorn, the Page of Wands, to the Nine of Cups. Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, High Priestess, they were at the Three of Swords. Have you got Capricorn placement anywhere in your chart? Uh, Sagittarius, some of you, this past maybe Capricorn Moon... Unexpected blessings. But these are what you didn't even know were even like options. That made all the difference. Yeah, because there's the moon card. Cross watch your energy. So, damn Sagittarius. If someone was paying for readings on you, someone was, uh, maybe they had your chart figured out or whatever the hell. This I like, brought out a better opportunity for you. It does feel like if someone was watching you, someone was watching them watching you. But it's it's not that dramatic. Uh, it's not that dramatic. It just kind of is the way that it is. Um, damn. Is 
It's good vibes for you. The Capricorn was an interesting opportunity. The Capricorn was an interesting opportunity. What is this Capricorn with regard to Sagittarius? Way too much cross-watcher energy, Sagittarius. So do be mindful of the conversations you have. Do be mindful of the people in your energy. A lot of you, it's not really... I feel like you're hard to read. Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups. This is a tangible opportunity. It's not a romantic relationship or partnership. It could be a good working relationship or partnership. Those of you that decided to stay single. So who was interested in, in like an opportunity with you? Some sort of close connection. But it didn't quite work. But damn, it's a better opportunity with you. Over top of that is the Eight of Swords. Mercury Retrograde. Damn. Some of y'all could have been dealing with the Pisces. Who do we got out here? Pisces, Virgo. Aries. Don't be surprised, Sagittarius, if you don't get an offer uh, that you weren't expecting. Those of you, uh, a competitive job that you do, you could be showing up really good at your company and maybe another company wants to come in and make you an offer. Uh, so anything you can do to kind of get out there uh, is kind of fascinating for you. Those of you, if you travel for work or you do temp work, it can be like temp work as well. So you start doing something, you're really good at it, and maybe someone just mentions your name, even if it's uh, bitching about you, and someone else pays attention. It works. It works on your behalf. This is like your own opportunity, your own sort of personal wish fulfillment. You're cross watchers, though. Damn. Who keeps paying for readings on you, but they don't like the sort of vibe? There's so much external when it comes to you, Sagittarius, so take what's yours and leave what's not. Especially since your energy is hard to read. That's what makes the difference. Someone is sending you peace, love, and light. Whether you realize this or not. So be mindful of this. Someone definitely has your back as well. So, damn. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. That Four of Cups vibe. I don't feel like this is romantic. It's far more rewarding than romance. Mm. Street smart and wise here. You're good. Someone's definitely got your back. You don't realize this. You're definitely hard to read, too. So take what's yours, Sagittarius, and leave what's not. This is an unexpected opportunity. Those of you that do, like, temp work, anything like that, where you get the opportunity to kind of showcase what it is that you do. So if you're thinking about a job offer, but maybe they can't guarantee you anything... Some of you take the opportunity because you never know how things are going to work out on your behalf. Even if someone's bitching about you and it brings attention to you, then someone's like, yeah, hey, you know what? You are right. They are sort of uh, 
not being used well in that position. So you could get an opportunity for an upgrade. It benefits you, Sagittarius. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Someone definitely has your back. So peace, love, it could be a Piscean energy. Or this is the energy around you that you don't know. Sometimes you don't need to know everything, Sagittarius. It just muddles up the energy. I don't know. You got two or more here with this three of swords. So it's like crosswatcher vibes. So are you crosswatching Sagittarius? Or are you more focused on what it is you got going on? Especially if you're getting readings. Someone paying for readings. Mm. Good luck. God bless. Take what's yours. Leave the rest, Sagittarius. Peace, love, and light. 